honestly, you know, it, it does start at the individual level. And I really think, um, like, like the New Green Challenge, I really think movements like this really put, you know, awareness is the key, really. Because a lot of people, like we were talking about, people are going through tough times right now. You know, that, that's kind of towards the back of your mind thinking about this. You have, you have immediate needs that you need to fill right now. And so you're not really thinking about, you know, the, the bigger picture, the environment, mm -hmm. you know, your environment. And so I really think things like the New Green Challenge and, you know, other, other kind of kind of grassroots movements that really get the community, you know, behind these issues and kind of puts it out there is, is just the awareness. The awareness is, is crucial. And so I think that, you know, the New Green Challenge is, is an amazing thing is to, to, you know, to put these people in, into these situations where they may be unfamiliar with certain things, but it's, it's giving them the awareness and the skills. And, you know, I, I like the fact that it provides so much information. Right. You know, and it really gives people the, the opportunity to really, you know, e expand outside of their box and just, you know, live life a different way and, you know, by choice, you know, they, they want to do this. Yeah. And so I really think, like, once you get people behind it and show that, you know, it's really not that hard to do, mm -hmm. you know, really, if, if you want to take the time out, if you already have even a slight interest in it, you, you know, you can go out and do it. You can make a very, a very tangible difference right. as an individual. And, you know, imagine if everybody, you know, did one simple thing to, to help the environment. On a, on a mass scale, on a global scale, if everybody did, you know, one simple thing, it would make a huge difference. I could list for you dozens and dozens of names of women, including my mother, okay. three paternal aunts, uncles who, before their time, age mm. 65 or younger, um, have passed away from largely preventable diseases. A lot of it um, brought on by diets, okay. stress, um, some of these environmental factors more on a social economic end, a lifetime of, of hard work, mm -hmm. um, not taking as good care of ourselves as we possibly can. And I don't think that's the legacy of our communities. If right. you look nationally at the statistics, these are issues that are plaguing most communities of color everywhere. Okay. It's even a global issue. Mm -hmm. um, and so that pushed me to say, what does this mean to me personally? Right. Um, and now that I've seen this, now that I've learned this, and I know there's an alternative way to eat, an alternative yeah. way to live, okay. um, how do I pass this on to people and mm -hmm. kind of change the culture of my own family and my own community? Right. So that was one big start. Uh -huh. um, so the way I eat in my home and prepare my food and how we recycle or reuse is uh -huh. very different than, let's say, it was growing up. Okay. Um, and I've influenced people in my family to kind right. of look at those hard uh -huh. habits yeah. and say, rethink, this is the reason, mm -hmm. this is the benefit. Right. So I see this as a part of that conversation, educating, empowering people to do different things that really not only benefit the environment, but us personally. Mm -hmm. You know, it's called a green challenge, but I see it as a green opportunity. Okay. Um, there's so many different things that somebody could do just on a small scale. Right. Um, you know, I'm actually happy because I just ended up buying a, a Prius. And, Did you? And, and <laughs> I used to have this big gas guzzling Lincoln yes. that, that you okay. know, used like 16 miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. So now I can actually track and right. see <clears throat> the amount of gas that I'm using. But, but you know, before I could even afford something like that, what I started doing was biking to work. Okay. Um, and um, even today in six, Ice. seven degree weather, <laughs> okay. um, I've got my sledded tires and I'm biking and yeah. I, I noticed the amount of, you know, gas that I actually saved and the mm -hmm. amount of money that I actually saved yeah. and the fact that I don't have to go to the gym. Right. Um, I, I mean, literally I'm saving like hundreds of dollars mm -hmm. a month Okay. Um, and staying in shape yes. and being healthy and also kind of reducing the impact that I have have on the earth. Right. I mean, and, and also I don't have to look for a parking space at work. So that, <laughs> that really helps. Because you can, you can guess and estimate what the issues are, but you, you know, when, if you don't talk to people about what's affecting them in their daily lives, you're not going to know for sure. And so that, I think that's really important to have that, you know, have that ear to the ground with the community. And to, to hear the issues that are actually affecting people every day right. and how, how does sustainability, you know, play into that. I mean, if, for example, from an economic standpoint, you know, doing, doing things sustainably, doing things green can, you know, save you money, a lot of money in the long run. Exactly. And so, I mean, that's something that's tangible to people. That's something that matters. You know, that's something they can understand. Like, I'm getting more money in my pocket right. at the end of the day because of a different, you know, manner of living. Right.
And so, I mean, I think that's really important is like you have to make it matter to people because, you know, you can have an ideological standpoint mm -hmm. and say, you know, it's good to live green, you know, but some people don't have that, that time horizon where they think about the future so much. Exactly. And so, but if you, if you make it real for them today, you know, exactly. that, that makes them want to actually do something. We are not outliving our grandparents anymore. They walked. Mm -hmm. They cooked their food in ways that were still natural. They grew so much of their food, and some of those practices really sustain them in ways that we are struggling to sustain yeah. ourselves now. So the learning is there, the wisdom is there, and this project, the New Green Challenge, has just been such a beautiful way to package that and bring that right back in front of us again today. It's so relevant still. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, Lisa, it was great having you on. Thank you. Joe. Thank you. Guys gave the community definitely a lot of things to think about so we can make a change. And I definitely appreciate that you guys have, have given this information to us. Thank, Thank you so much. You.